Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you guys so much for joining me. If you're new here, my name is Holly. I make food and fitness content. I am bringing you guys a week's worth of workouts this week. I am so excited for this video. Like I love a weekly vlog because it just means that we get to spend every day with each other. Like what could be more fun? I sound like a literal crazy girlfriend, but these are genuinely my favorite type of vlogs to do. I did one of these a while ago, along with my marathon training series, and we are now five weeks out from the marathon. So it's been a few weeks. My training has like amplified quite a lot. I'm doing longer runs, I'm doing harder runs. So I thought it was a good time to show you guys exactly what I'm gonna be doing. So we're gonna be starting the week off with an arm workout. I did do a 35 kilometer run yesterday, as you guys would have seen from the video earlier in the week. So my legs are a tiny bit tired. I mean, I say that, they feel okay like I probably could train legs but I think it's just best to give them a proper day off so we're going to do that today and we're just going to focus on upper body I think we've got a bit of like an upper body slash like hit circuit that we're going to be doing which is very exciting so yeah I will see you guys in the gym I'm about to drive off to the gym but I need to show you the snack I'm going to have before because I don't know if I've spoken about these on YouTube look at the giant crispy bars they do here so it's like a squares bar on steroids like they are insane so I'm going to have one of these before the gym because Squares bars alone give you a good pump, but these... I'm gonna have to bring those back in my suitcase because I've never seen these in the UK. Hi guys, so we are back. We are currently on day two of workouts and we are gonna head to the gym and get a leg session in today. Today was gonna be a run day. However, the running route that I wanted to take, I did actually go to this morning and unfortunately it was flooded. So we are not gonna be doing a run today. We're gonna go and we're gonna smash legs instead. But this is today's little leg day fit. The shorts are from Tala's like seamless sculpt collection. I think they're some of my favorite leg day shorts ever. And the bra is from Lulu, which is the same as the one that I was wearing yesterday, but in white. I'm just obsessed with it. I also have it in a pink as well. And yeah, that is basically everything. Let's head off and go and kill our quads. Fumble a bag, now I will not fumble a bag. Fumble a bag, now I will not fumble a bag. Act like you know how this goes.
would like to say for reference that is 50 mountain climbers, 10 jump squats, 12 guest squat swings, 12 wide squat thrusts, and 30 crunches. And I have to do it one more time. I don't even know if I'm mentally prepared to talk about what I just put my legs through. I don't even know if that looked that tough, but I think the big run from last week, like I could feel it during that workout. Like during those split squats, I was like, I'm currently in pieces. <laughs> I need to like pick myself up off the floor. But I will see you guys tomorrow for a run day, I believe it is. It's so we're back for day three of workouts of the week. And today we're gonna to be doing a tempo run. I'm currently in the car because I'm driving down to the beach. That's where I'm gonna be doing my run. It's really good for tempo runs because it's just a really, really long straight line. And that's basically what I need to do today. So we're gonna be doing 30 minutes at an easy pace, which is, I would say around like 6.10 minutes per kilometer for me. 6.10, six, between somewhere between that, 6.15 basically keeping my heart rate low a nice easy jog not pushing myself too hard then we are going into 60 minutes at my marathon pace i i'm not very good at these runs because the beginning part is so easy i then get into the quicker part and i end up going way too fast like the other week i was doing like a 510 per kilometer pace and i'm not going to be running a marathon at that pace that would probably kill me so i really need to focus today on actually just like maintaining a good pace even if it does feel a bit slow that is how i'm gonna be running for the marathon for the 60 minutes i am just about to go and grab a starbucks i have also decided to go makeup free today i have been filming like all of my workout content since i've been in la basically so i've always had something on my face and my skin is by no means bad but i can just start to kind of see some like spots my skin's like feeling a little bit like hormonal at the moment anyway so i thought what's going to be better for it than running in the sea breeze naked. I'm not sure if you guys can see, it is so windy along the beach today. It's quite nice because it literally feels like really cool. Like literally running in like a long suit. <laughs> I'm gonna look super windswept by the end of this. Right, so we're halfway through the slow run now. These are just literally. <laughs> Runs in the water. I'm doing a 6 10 pace at the moment. I literally felt like I'm caught in like a sandstorm. The sand is like hitting the back of my legs because it's so windy. It is so windy, I don't even know if you're going to be able to hear me. So just coming up to the 30 minute mark. <laughs> so that means I'm going to start running at the marathon pace. I'm going to go for like a 5 30, I think. I am literally eating sand. <laughs> I'm running it is not very friendly on the beach today this is so much harder because I'm running into it now I've got like four minutes to go <laughs> my hair um so yeah i decided to run off of the beach because i did try to turn around and run into the wind that was not happening so i was like i'll run off of the beach and into like santa monica and venice which was really nice but i just eventually was like oh like i have 10 minutes left and i'm nowhere near my car and then i looked at my maps and this was where i was I was this far away from my car. So I was like, I'm gonna have to get an Uber back because I'm not now walking for two miles. And yes, so here we are back at the car. That was a good run. My legs are just, yeah, they're just a little bit toast. That workout yesterday was really tough on my quad, but it's marathon training. It's supposed to be tough. I did it. Now I'm gonna go and chill for the rest of the day, but I will see you guys for day four of the workout week. Right, ladies and gents, we are back. We've got another run day. Woo! Oh my goodness, I cannot tell you how... I'm just struggling a little bit today, I'm not gonna lie. The leg doms slash like aches are so real. Like I couldn't even get out of bed easily today, so the fact that I am about to go and run 14 kilometers, it's just not that appealing to me right now. I'm just not really like 
feeling it. This is just one of those things. I need to get it done. I need to take the box. I'm training for a marathon. It's not supposed to be easy. Days like this are the days where, yeah, I want to throw the towel in. I didn't want to do anything today. It's really sunny. Probably could have sunbathed all day. However, I have set myself a goal and I'm going to achieve it. So if you are currently training for a marathon and you're also having this week, I feel like if you're doing the Paris, even the Manchester or the London, we're kind of in the in-between bubble right now. There's still five weeks of training to go till the actual marathon itself. So it's kind of like we've ticked off a massive chunk of it, but we're still not at the end. Sometimes in the middle ground, you can kind of lose sight of your goals and lose sight of motivation. And it's just really important to remember why you're doing what you're doing. So for me, <laughs> I feel like I'm giving myself a pep talk here. For me, I'm doing this so I can run a marathon with my dad and have that really, really special memory. I'm also doing it to prove to myself that I'm more than capable of achieving anything that I set my mind to and that my body is physically capable of doing things that I never thought it would ever achieve. So that is going to be my driving force for today's run. Also, I'm just trying to practice like gratitude for the fact that I am actually physically able to do this. That is what I've been saying to myself over and over again this morning because it's, yeah, it's been a low motivation day. But we're still smiling. We're still going to go and take it off anyway. Easy Run's my favourite. It's literally 14 kilometres at an easy pace. So at around like a 6.10 pace. Nice and slow. I'm going to put some nice music on. We've still got a 25 kilometre run at the end of the week as well. But we're not thinking about that. I feel like the worst thing I can do is like project too far into the future and think about the bigger things I've got coming up we just need to focus on what is right in front of us focus on the step not the staircase so you know the situations where you're like if I don't laugh I'll cry and um, I was like oh my god I forgot my headphones and then I found them and then they had like one percent on so so annoying I've had to put my headphones on charge I'm gonna have to loop back and go and get them and hopefully they'll have a bit more charge but I'm gonna have to do like the first you know, half an hour just with my own thoughts <laughs> about 26 minutes I feel like I've got four more minutes to go until I can put my headphones in <laughs> it's not actually been too bad like I'm not gonna lie it's been quite therapeutic in a way to not have the distraction of my music but yeah we're about five kilometers in we're about eight kilometers in now so just over halfway it's got a little bit hot so I've de-dressed which is actually really nice because I feel like I've been burning in layers so maybe a little bit of a tan while we're running. Okay, so we've hit 11 kilometers now, which means we've got three more to go. Feeling good, it's just such a slow run. And I am still feeling quite achy, so I feel like it's been harder than my normal easy runs just because I'm trying to push past that part of it. But having my music in. <laughs> It's definitely really helped. It wasn't too bad at first, but it's definitely a lot nicer being able to kind of like zone out. That was a hot, hot run. Bold of me to assume I was going to be able to run in like a long sleeve jacket like I don't know really what I was thinking then done and dusted this is the feeling that I run for like now no matter how much I did not want to do that run did it I've done it I've completed it my brain was literally telling every single part of my body that I didn't want to do that today but I fucking did it anyway so <laughs> now the world is my oyster oh my goodness I'm so sweaty right I'm not going to chat too much because I need to put the aircon on and I need to go about my day it's sunny in California I feel like it's not been sunny for ages so I'm going to make the most of it and go out and have an explore today but thank you guys i was about to say thank you for watching we've st still got two more workouts to do guys i'll see you for the next one hi everyone i was about to say welcome back to my youtube channel i am losing the plot this week this week i definitely don't even know whether i'm coming or going hello everyone welcome back to another workout day we are currently on workout day five we are gonna hit glutes this morning i went out last night i've had four hours sleep i had too much tequila and i'm a little bit hungover i'm not gonna lie but we move there is actually no time to be hungover when you have a six day workout week <laughs> still got two more workouts to go people we've got this right let's just go in it's not a massive session i'm not going to go too heavy because i am doing a 25 kilometer run tomorrow and i actually value my life and i don't want to die on that run
everyone. Sorry if this camera angle or just like camera in general is just a little bit shaky. I've changed cars and it's just not very easy to put you on the dashboard. So I might be like, I'll do with my hand. But guys, we're at the last workout of the week. We made it. We made it to day six. So today is the big day. We are doing a 25 kilometer run. It's so funny because when I was driving here, I was like, oh, like it's fine. It's just 25k. This run four weeks ago was the most nerve wracking thing. I was doing it with my dad. I was like, 25 kilometers is so far. I've never run this far before in my life. And now I'm just like, yeah, I've just got to do a 25k in the morning. Like it's some kind of like blase thing. It's definitely not. Like 25 kilometers is a long way. So we're going to head off. We're going to do that. I'm going to run down by the beach. I'm very excited. I feel like I'm having a bit of an overthinking morning and I'm genuinely so excited to get on this run because I just know that this is going to give me the space to like really work through everything I'm thinking. Like I was driving and I was like, I've never needed a run more in my life than I do today. I've just woken up just in one of those moods. So I'm all kitted up now. I've got my little vest on. I've got some water with me, some energy gels, some raisin bread. And I don't know how long this is going to take me, but I will keep you guys updated as always along the way. And then I'll see you at the end. Hello everyone, so six kilometers in, I'm not gonna lie, like obviously I mentioned I feel like I was having it over the good morning and like the beginning of this run has just been filled with like pure <laughs> anxiety, um, like I just feel a bit sick, can't stop overthinking so it's just really hard in this situation because I think when you start running sometimes you get that anyway, um, but it's just like because it was in my head it's all I flooded into the front of it, but I just know if I keep going and so that's some music, hopefully it will just quieten down. I can think through things a bit slower, it's just a bit like stressful at the moment. We are now 10 kilometers in, two and a half to go so we turn back and head back home. Feeling good, um, I forgot my Garmin, so I think my pacing is a bit off, which is a little bit annoying, but what can you do? Right, we've hit 12K. We turn around, we're heading back to the car. Right, little update, 14 kilometers in, 11 to go, feeling really good. Feel like I've fully settled into it now, like my body's just kind of like going at this point, so sure, I like 20K. That's when the, the aches might start to creep in. We just hit 20K, five more K to go, about an hour and 50 in, so the legs are feeling a little bit tired. I mean, kneecaps, but got like 4.5 probably out there, so it's all good. Oh my god, I've just put the aircon on so hard. That feels so nice. Oh. We did it guys. Six day workout week, finished with a 25 kilometer run i don't even know like what pace i was doing the beginning portion of that run like i was really really struggling like i felt like i did when i did the 35k like mentally but i just remembered how annoyed i was at myself for like stopping when i felt like that so that's why those runs are important because like that's what really motivated me to keep going then i'm kind of sad that i have to sign the vlog off on a very sweaty no. So that was 21k at 5.26 per kilometre pace, which it was a bit up and down. Like when my um, Strava was telling me in my ears, like I had a few where I was like 5.40 and then at the end I was like going like 5.10. So it was not the most consistent of runs, but that's like the difficulty of not having a watch. Like you can't see what pace you're doing. So I was just going off how I feel. And obviously in the beginning of the run, I was not feeling good, but we felt so much better towards the end. And like, like I said, the run earlier in the week, like this is why I run like this feeling now, like I feel so good. And I've just gone and done a two hour and 15 minute run also i am going to save all of your lives if you are girlies and you are running these run shorts they're not even i don't even know if they're specific run shorts but they're the lululemon shorts i'm going to tag them or link them in the description these are the best running shorts like when i was running then i was like these didn't ride up i wasn't getting any chafe and they're cycling shorts at the very beginning they did ride up but as soon as i pulled them down and stretched them out they stayed exactly where they were for the whole run and it is so difficult to find good shorts like that so i would be very surprised if i'm not running the marathon in these i'm definitely going to do an order now before i post this vlog because I don't trust you guys to not go and like buy them in mass. I think I'm probably gonna buy like three pairs, but yeah. We have finished a six day workout week. I've run 55 kilometers over the course of this week. It's not been 
the easiest. I've not been the most motivated, but I've ticked every single box and I've shown up every day and proved to myself that I can do it. So I'm feeling good. I hope you guys have enjoyed the vlog. Like I said, I love making these ones. Like I love spending my weeks with you guys. Um, so I hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you have, please don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you guys next week. Mm -hmm.